Hello, Taurus. Happy Saturday to you. As requested, I'm going to keep the cards in front here so you see me shuffling. There we go. Taurus. Here we go. Thank you. One more? Absolutely. Taurus. Taurus, come through. The King of Pentacles. Pentacle, very Taurian vibe to the Empress. Beautiful. And the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor to the Ten of Cups. Taurus, in the middle of your reading, we have the Ten of Wands laying that burden down. We have the Ten of Cups to the Ten of Pentacles on each side and in the middle laying the burden down. That is beautiful. Judgment, ascension of love, second, third chances to the queen of pentacles, finding her king here and the hangman. At the bottom of the deck, we have page of swords, the I spy of the tarot card deck. Let's see how this is going to play out with Confirmations and clarifications. Confirmations and clarifications. So Taurus, you know that your energy is in uh, a roller coaster ride. Yeah. Now uh, check yourself with the um, your astrological chart. It could help explain some of the low energy you might be feeling. But let's go on with this reading. We're beginning with the King of Pentacles. What is he about? Security, safety, sustainability. Um, this is someone that you are, that you can count on. Pentacle, counting pentacles. This is someone who you know, they have, they have the wherewithal to um, create a budget, to create the, the chores of the household to keep the estate going strong and his friend, the King of Swords. So if we're, if we're going from very pragmatic financially to very pragmatic emotionally. The King of Swords is head over heart, meaning it's a linear line of logic. The Star Trek Dr. Spock of the tarot cards, it, he is, um, I'm sorry, Mr. Spock, I should say, of the tarot cards he is not someone who is ruled by emotions but rather wants to see the truth and the clarity of the situation the knight of cups is continuing to come toward this beautiful connection and what a long journey he has been death and rebirth it's taken a lot for this to con this connection to um, come to fruition. <clears throat> Someone had to let go of uh, habits and um, ideas that did not serve them well and to come to the, to the point of knowing they are worthy of being in the presence of the Empress. Hmm. This person does feel at times a mischievous. Um, <clears throat> at times they feel as if I'm sorry, they don't feel worthy of being in this connection. Um, but the King of Wands is here. He's the great leader, the um, one who can read a blueprint and say um, the scale of this is correct. And it, he is also able to provide a path clearly um, from one place to another. Do we need the King of Wands? Absolutely, especially with the extra emotions here. We do have the Two of Wands. See clearly how this demonstrates how someone in this connection still has their past in their area, but they're holding on to the, the future, and they have the world to give to you. 
here is the Wheel of Fortune. Page of Cups, right? Someone has a plan. Someone has a plan that they have been perfecting and practicing. Someone very wisely, though, I think it's you, Taurus, have gone into almost a Four of Swords. Um, I notice many of you are um, utilizing your meditations as a daily practice, um, realizing what is um, extra energy from anxiety and extra energy from um, anticipation of what's coming towards you. It's very good to be able to parse those two out. The Six of Pentacles in the upright now, thank you. Uh, this is a, a person recognizing that they must give equal attention and affection to someone that they had previously almost ghosted. But the ghosting was done as, as a way to see if you're paying attention, if that makes sense. They do have the Ten of Cups, what I call the Ten of Hearts. This is the happy family. So we have the, the best of everything, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, ruled over by the, the King of Pentacles. So the house is going to be full of love, which is beautiful, but it's also going to be able to sustain itself. It's not going to be something that burns brightly and then fades away. This is for the long term. Eight of Wands, this is the great communication. In this, the fire energy is off the charts. There's so much love to tell you. I have so much to tell you. Yeah. Us, uh, the Ace of Pentacles from the universe, kind of helping to organize. I'm seeing a vision right now. I don't know if this is going to make sense to everyone, but it's like a bank that a child would have. It's plastic, and you put in a, a coin, and whether it be a nickel, a dime, a quarter, it finds its place and then goes into that area. That's what I'm seeing. And the, the message is everything in its place in due time. And what happens then? The fool. In due time, in divine timing, the fool is going to take that leap of faith. Yes, uh, there are still burdens here. The burden is being laid down. Let's talk about some of those burdens, especially it's in the middle of your reading. The conflict, again, right underneath the Five of Swords, the, these ideas of I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, I'm going to mess this up, this inner conflict in their mind, especially now that we see these both in reverse, is becoming to be resolved. Oh, they have so much flirtation to tell you. This, this person, actually the two of you, bring flirtation to an art form. But we do need the Emperor here. The other part of this communication that's, that's coming through, I'm, I'm thanking the Emperor for being with this Aries energy right next to communication, is because someone here can be very wishy-washy. And instead of um, speaking their mind, they can get a deer in the headlight and, and you know kind of vibe, like, I don't know what to do next. I don't know what to say next. So they don't say anything. The Aries is going to come through with... Um, let me tell you how I feel and, and be quite direct about it, along with the King of Swords, with the logic. It's helpful. Ten of Pentacles, someone has been working on the financials. Uh, if there is regret, it's because someone has been spending so much time getting their financial um, area of their life together that they couldn't be with you. It's like they had three ways to meet you and they knocked down all of those ways, but they saved the best for last. The best is the Two of Cups behind them. And here we have the Grand Manifestress, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, she is also very direct. She stands up and, and points and says, you're the person I, am, I choose. I feel good when I'm in your presence. The Devil in Reverse, right next to the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. This Devil is being tamed. These feelings of having it's low self-esteem, of not being worthy, of I'm going to mess this up again, they have to be tamed. Um, the reason why the Capricorn energy is present is to recognize that this is part of the challenge. 
You don't get from here to there. If you have a flat tire, yeah, the car drives, but it doesn't drive well. Fix the flat tire, and then you'll get to your destination um, without your teeth rattling out of your mouth and without a headache and in better what time. The judgment card. Do you see how the oh, Gabriel is blowing the horn and, and the people are rising up? They're ascending. This, this love is in ascension mode. So the Eight of Wands to the Seven of Wands in reverse. This person is no longer in defensive posture. They don't feel like they need to give anyone an explanation of anything. The Knight of Wands, though, they are on their way because they are looking to tell you. I hearing again, this person wants to tell you their story, their whole story, morning, noon, and night, in their own words. The Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups running over. This is a divine, divine connection. And you see that the, the love is running over. As this love increases and ascends, this vessel is going to increase. There's going to be more love present. The Queen of Pentacles, she is the one, especially when people are feeling low self-esteem, not feeling welcome, not feeling at ease. She's the great hostess. People are welcome. She finds a place for everyone. The Knight of Pentacles, the slowest moving card in the tarot deck. And this makes perfect sense. The Tower Vent in reverse. This person having realized that they may have been their own worst critic is still rooting out some of those past habits that bring their spirit down. It's a long process, but they are leaving behind those things that did not serve them. They're going towards their Nine of Cups, which is you. The Hanged Man, of course, after all of this, it's necessary to be able to see life in a new way, to wake up. Morning has broken like the first morning. So we have the Two of Pentacles. It's, a, it's nearly a balancing act. It's difficult to let go of old habits. So at some point, this, this juggling, it's going to stop and they're going to hold on to the best pentacle and just come toward you. A lot of the inspiration that this person has received has been from the universe, but also from people on the other side of the veil that support them. Do they feel like there has been betrayal? Absolutely. They feel like there's been betrayal, but it's it takes time. Nothing good is ever very quick. And they feel there's a sense of guilt. They feel, um, what did I do to Taurus? Make them wait so long. I, I ghosted them. I worked on myself and I wasn't fair with them. I wasn't fair. I didn't give a fair amount of attention and affection. I've got so much to give. So what do they do? They do the Page of Swords. Um, somehow, some way, they keep tabs on you just to make sure, number one, they make sure that you're okay because this is true love. And number two, to make sure that you're still available because there is still... Um, you know, a bit of jealousy. They want to make sure you haven't um, given up on them, that um, that you're still available. So, Taurus, it's anything but easy, but I hope this helps, and I hope you're doing well. Okay? Okay, take good care. Bye-bye.